Hello friends, this is my first stand-up act and yet I am not a wee bit nervous today. You must be wondering why. Well, during my school days, when it comes to exams, we were hardly prepared. Okay? And then we used to have another set of people, the nerds. Okay? They will be able to tell you the fourth word in chapter number 5, paragraph 6, sentence 4. And they will also get a 100 out of 100 whereas we would have hardly managed to pass. Yet, our confidence level will be as high as them. And I told a few of my friends that I was going to do a stand-up act today, and they all started laughing. No, I hadn't cracked any joke yet. So they said, you've become very funny these days, huh? you're cracking jokes. Another guy said, yaar, tu aaj kal bhot mazak kar leta hai. Pinar tam baranyo, oh, so these are the kind of people I live with, okay? And this act is dedicated to all these motivators in my life. Well, if you're wondering what I'm going to do with the bat, well, I'm going to defend the coronavirus. How? Well, while playing cricket, we wear a lot of protection gears, right? We have our gloves, we have our pad, we have our helmets. Likewise, in real life, at least now when we are facing this pandemic, we also need to have a mask in place, a glove in place, right? Apart from that, we also need to have our sanitizers. Well, cricketers don't have sanitizers. I think they spit instead, okay, which is a strict no-no for us. Let us look at a few other measures to curb the spread of this virus. Social distancing. In cricket, it is like a spread out field. I think that is the ideal solution. And normally we have the huddles and the high fives when you celebrate fall of a wicket or a century. We can do away with those things. Likewise, in real life, let us stay away from parties office parties, home parties, whatever, be it promotion, or oh, did I just say promotions? This is the time when people are getting laid off. Pink slip is the order of the day. And uh, I think it is better to be a 12th man warming the bench. Or you should be like MS Dhoni. He has been in total self-isolation for a long time. And I doubt if there are cobwebs between his fingers. The different stages of lockdown reminds us of cricket. The lockdown one is like the first day of a test match, the initial spell. When you have the fast bowlers coming in, ball into that green pitch, the ball is moving around and the batsman can hardly move. So the best he does is just leave the ball, right? Imagine you have a Waka Yunus and a Vasi Makram operating from both ends. What do you do? You just defend. And soon after you have a change, you have a Shohei Bakhtar coming in and his delivery is just like a coronavirus. You just can't see it coming. Lockdown 3 and 4 is like when the balling changes happen. That is when the spinners and the part-timers get into action. And the batsmen grow in confidence and they start stepping out of the crease and trying to hit the ballers for a six. You become like a Navjot Singh Sidhu who wants to hit a six every ball. Right? But you miss and you get hit. So it is up to us to be careful. Now coming to lockdown five, it is like the fifth day of a test match. It is going to be very, very tricky. Wickets are going to tumble. And for the current generation to understand, well, it can be compared to the last few overs of a T20 match. You feel you can just go out and hit hammer and thong, but you're going to lose your wicket, friends. So let us be careful, okay? And you think that you have made your way back into the crease, but your decision will be sent to the third umpire. And here it is the doctors, okay? He'll be very clear looking at your symptoms that you are suffering from the virus, but then he will not tell it to you. He will send it for a lab test. It's like giving the decision to a third umpire. And then when the result comes, you are out, out, fucked. Oh, did I just throw profanities? Did I just use a cuss word? Did I just flash obscenities? 
Well, I think I was told that in a stand-up act, this is mandatory. If you're wondering from where I learned the cuss words and the actions, well, I am not the captain of Indian cricket team. Okay? Nor am I a politician who uses unparliamentary words. But yes, I come from a corporate background. So that explains. It is just that we didn't have stump mics in our boss's cabin. I'm using this analogy of cricket because people will be able to relate to each examples. Okay? And uh, I'm sure there'll be some Maria Sharapovas here too who will not know cricket and who even do not know Sachin Tendulkar for that matter. Well, excused. I will excuse, but Sachin Tendulkar fans will never excuse her for her ignorance. When I told my uh, teenage son that I was going to do a stand-up act today, he asked me, uh, Dad, have you seen Kenny Sebastian? I asked uh, Kenny who, with due respect. Okay, honestly, I haven't heard of him, nor have I seen his act. Okay, here I am the Mario Sharapova. Okay, and uh, I was told that he is the Sachin Tendulkar of uh, stand-up comedy. Okay, so fans of Kenny, please forgive me. Uh, I'm sure Kenny wouldn't mind because Mario Sharapova was at least a famous tennis player. What am I? Me kya chiz hu? Record karke online challenge pe stand-up kar raha hu. Huh? अगर दम है तो दस आदमी के सामने आके परफॉर्म करो नहीं यार मैं ऐसे ही ठीक हूँ अरे इवन अमिताभ बच्चन इज लॉन्चिंग हिज न्यू मूवी ऑन ओ टी टी चैनल एंड इन केरला यू रिसेंटली यू हैड वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट प्रोडक्शन हाउसेस लॉन्चिंग एन अदर मूवी ऑन ओ टी टी चैनल सो मेरा तो हक बनता है द ओनली स्टैंड अप आई वॉच एंड एन्जॉय इज वेन आर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मेक्स हिज लॉकडाउन स्पीचेस ओवर द टेलीविजन आदमी बहुत अच्छा मजाक कर लेता है लोगों के साथ इवन न्यूज चैनल्स हैव बिकम एंटरटेनमेंट चैनल्स एंड इन केरला वी हैव अ चीफ मिनिस्टर हु कम्स एवरी डे ऑन टेलीविजन इट इज लाइक अ बोरिंग सोप ओपेरा ही बी अकम्पनीड बाय अ फ्यू म्यूट स्पेक्टेटर्स ऑन इज लेफ्ट एंड राइट I'm reminded of those Priyadarshan movies when there are those extras who do not have anything in particular to do. Then why not have them clad in colorful dresses and with some colorful pots? Huh? We can have some uh, jhatkas and matkas to make the show a little more entertaining. Ever wondered what a cricketer's wife would be doing during this lockdown? I'm sure same as what our wives would have done. Okay. trying out new recipes cutting the hairs of ours and our kids and last but not the least painting on liquor bottles well if you find a shortage of bottles just ask your cricketer husband to call up their chief coach ravi shastri he will have a stock of those liquor bottles finished half finished unfinished be it his home be it his car be it his pocket okay and what are the cricketers doing now the moment you open the internet you find xyz selecting the top 11 players of the world not necessarily they played with and what can we normals uh, we mortals do perhaps select the best 11 crushes of our life not necessarily we played with okay at your own risk Apart from that cricketers will be made to do some household chores by their wife or mother depending upon what their specialty is okay if the he is a batsman he will be asked to do the jhadu pocha sweeping huh and if he is a spinner what is his action more like okay make him wash the dishes what if he is a pace bowler what if i'm off his action washing clothes would be a good idea except maybe for ishan sharma he will become the guard in a house why because he is the quintessential night watchman of indian cricket team and what about the wicket keepers what are their actions right this this when it comes to kerala this comes to my mind that is scrapping the coconut rishabh pant may not get this joke but i'm sure sanju samsing will understand because we use coconut 
in almost everything that we cook. That includes the beef. Vishnu, two parotas and a beef fry for me. As it is, you guys are not paying me much. IPL season has come and gone, not a single over bowled. Normally, we would have kept a tab of the points level of, you know, Mumbai Indians, Calcutta Knight Riders, Delhi Daredevils. Instead, what are we keeping a tab on? We are keeping a tab on the COVID positive cases in all these cities. It's not over yet. These lockdown relaxations doesn't mean we are free from the pandemic. Like in cricket, we say, the game is not over until the last ball is bowled. Let us hope that one day we too, like New Zealand, will have zero positive cases. So before I wind up, let me just borrow these two beautiful lines. Pavilion me baithe raho Aaj jane ki zid na karo Haaye mar jayenge Haan mar jaoge Hum to lut jayenge Haan lut bhi jaoge Aisi baate ki ya na karo हाँ मैं ऐसे ही बात करूंगा और आगे भी करता रहूंगा दिस इज विकी साइनिंग ऑफ ऑन विकी बैकी शो ऑन या ओवा ओवर आई लाला है